Hi, welcome to another video about WoW Database Editor. Today I'm going to show you how to use the editor to script a real-world scene. We will script a short scene after the deciphering the journal quest. If you don't know the scene, I encourage you to pause the video and check out some video of it on the internet. We will write the script based on a so-called sniff. A sniff is a recorded communication between the server and the game. Using a sniff we can determine exactly what action to play and when to do it. You can record your own sniff using Trinity Core's sniffer called Emer. Check out the description for the links and more information. Sniffs must first be parsed into a human-readable form using Trinity Core's WoW Packet Parser. The parser is built into the editor, making this very easy. We just have to accept Trinity Core's license. Let's load the sniff into the editor. We can now see all the packets that have been sent and received, there's a lot of them. To simplify the task, in the editor I can turn the packets into a more readable form. The editor contains bunch of so-called processors, which can transform the packets in various ways. The storyteller processor converts the most important packets into a human readable story. I can now look for the moment when the player rewards this quest. Sage Paluna is the quest giver and in the so-called story you can see that 300 milliseconds after rewarding the quest, Paluna changes her orientation. Unfortunately there is also a lot of unnecessary stuff in this story. For example, the Dusk Hall Prowler movement, after the rotation is completely unrelated to the scene. In the packet viewer we can write a filter to filter out those unnecessary packets. However, deciding who is an actor of the scene can take some time. To simplify this task, we can use the editor's new experimental feature of finding connected packets to determine scenes. I need to find the reward quest packet in the packet list. I will now copy the packet number and go back to the packets list. Let's go to this packet. Now I simply right click on the packet, I choose find related packets and wait a moment. The list of packet is now much shorter. Let's generate a new story. The entire story is now also much shorter and contains only what is important to the scene. It worked almost perfectly, but an NPC named Litoko Ice Totem is still there, even though it is not part of the scene. Even though finding related packets is not perfect, it still makes scripting way faster and easier compared to manually looking for scene packets. I can manually remove this one unit from the sniff and regenerate the story. Now we are ready to start scripting. In the scene, there are few NPC dialogues, so let's generate the scene texts first. The creature text processor takes into account the texts that are already in the database and adds only the new ones. In this case, all of them are new. In order to remember all the SQL changes, I will use the editor feature called Sessions. I already talked about Sessions in the previous video. So now I will simply create a new session right away. Now that the session is created I can simply apply this query to the database. To do that, I'm pressing this button. The change has been applied to the database, and in addition, the changed things appear in the session pane. The session remembers what was changed, so I can close the tab with the query as it is not gonna be lost. Now it's time for the actual script. We're going to script a scene, and timed action lists in Smart AI are perfect for this. So let's open a new timed action list. Its ID will be the NPC's ID multiplied by 100. In one half of the screen, I'll have the generated story opened, and in the other half, I am gonna be writing the script. Writing the script is really easy now, 
I'm literally rewriting the actions visible on the left side into Smart AI. Let's start. After 300 milliseconds, Sage Paluna should change her orientation as seen in the sniff. Next, we remove the quest giver flag. After another two seconds, the NPC plays an emote. After another wait, we summon a game object. Then we change the orientation again, just like in the sniff. After 1.3 seconds, we need to make this NPC say the first line. Now another game object. Now NPC changes unit bytes 1. This field encodes multiple information. Fortunately, the WoW database editor clearly shows what exactly has changed. In this case, NPC stand state has changed from stand to kneel. So let's add an action as follows. Now another simple emote. And now the game object bytes one of the object have been changed. Again, this field encodes a bunch of different things, but again the editor shows what exactly has changed. The state has changed from 0 to 1, which means that the object has been activated. Now some more texts. We're almost at the end. The NPC says one last line, stands up, and restores her NPC flags.
At the end, we have to despawn the previously spawned game objects. I just noticed that I forgot to set how far away the server should look for the object when activating the journal. In fact, the script would work anyway, because if the search distance is set to zero, it falls back to 100 yards. You can see that the editor is aware of this, and it correctly displays closest game object in 100 yards, even though I have set zero yards. But it is always better to precisely set the search distance. Now timed action list is ready. I'm saving it. This applies this change into the database and saves the script in the current session. Now we need to add a script that will start the scene. This is very simple to do. Firstly, let's open Sage Paluna main script. Now let's simply add a on quest reward event and a call timed action list action. I save this script as well. Finished. That's all, really. It took just a few minutes. I can now generate a total query with all the changes in the current session. It's very simple. Let's just press the generate button and there we go. This is a ready fix to this missing scene. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can see how easy things are thanks to using the WoW database editor. Now let's watch the scene. Thanks for watching and see you next time.